we all love to put a little music below our dialogue tracks and our speaking tracks, right? To give the video a little bit of ambiance and a little bit of vibe, right? But do you know the best way to kind of create some space for your dialogue and make sure that your music isn't competing with your dialogue? Oh, let me get a little dialogue space here, please. You might be thinking, hey, I'm just gonna lower the volume, right? And that's pretty much what most people are gonna do. But in this video, I've got three tips for you on how you can use other tools and techniques to create some space for your dialogue, right? We don't want the music track to be competing with our dialogue. And these three tips are gonna help just make a little space in your music track for that dialogue to live. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Jason Yalofsky. I make tons of videos about DaVinci Resolve, help you get started, learn this awesome program, and a lot of stuff about audio because audio is super important when it comes to your videos. Random side note, have you heard of the Artless 100K Fund? Artless is gonna be sponsoring a creator by giving them a $100,000 to go out and create something awesome. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in checking more out about that. So we're in DaVinci Resolve. I have a talking head clip of myself and I've got two different music tracks that I got from Artlist, the sponsor of today's video. Talk about them later. So let me just play a little bit of this clip here and you're gonna hear, obviously the music's gonna be too loud and we're gonna start with uh, how most people would go ahead and try and balance our dialogue and our music track. So take a listen to this. Sometimes when we've got talking headshots like this, I'm gonna stop right there. It's too loud, right? So most people, to try and blend these two together, they're just gonna come in here and lower the volume. And we can totally do that. So I'm gonna play through it and just drop the volume down a little bit and just kind of try and get them to blend together a little bit better. And let's see how, how it sounds. Sometimes when we've got talking headshots like So maybe a little bit lower than that, maybe a minus 25 dB. Like this or people talking in our videos, we wanna put a music track below all that. Okay, so it's not too bad, right? Maybe I make it a little bit quieter, but uh, you still hear a little bit of competition between the guitar in that music track and me talking, right? So let's get into the first tip here, the first thing that you can try uh, to help make some space for your dialogue track within your music track, right? Because we want we want the dialogue to kind of be coming right at you. And this tip, we're actually gonna take our music and we're gonna push it to the outside, right? So we have right and left channels. So we wanna push it to the outside of our speakers. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Fairlight, musical notes at the bottom here. And we're gonna to wanna to add an effect. And that effect is gonna be a stereo spread effect. So it's gonna take our music and push it to the outsides of our right and left channels to kind of make a little space in the middle for our dialogue to live. So I'm on my track number two here. I wanna to come to my mixer. If you don't see your mixer, click right here, open up that mixer. We wanna to come to our effects section, click on the plus. Then you wanna come down to spatial, fair light effects, and right here we have stereo width. So this is gonna allow us to make that music sound a little bit wider, right? Between our right and our left channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that effect. When the effect opens up in here, you can see we've got a few different options, but if you just wanna get it as wide as you can right off the bat, there's actually a preset built in that we can use. So I'm gonna click the drop down, go to max separation, and now you can see it's pushing out that audio all the way to the outside. So um, let's play through a little bit of the clip. I'm just gonna solo out our music track and uh, see if we can hear it spreading out our audio a little bit. I may even may have to make the music track a little bit louder for you to hear it a little bit clearer, but let's see um, if it sounds like it's getting pushed out a little bit more. Now it's gonna be more noticeable if you have good headphones or good speakers. Um, if you're listening on a phone or maybe some just, you know, built-in laptop speakers, you may not notice it as much, but if you've got the better speakers, you're gonna notice it a little bit better. Now, as we listen, you're gonna notice in the beginning, it's gonna sound like it's not doing anything, and then you're gonna see the graph kind of start to work there with the stereo width after it gets going for a few seconds. So see if you can hear the difference here. So can you see our graph is lighting up and it's showing that it's pushing the sound out to the right and left channel. So let's just turn this off and then play through and turn it on and see if you can hear a difference. I'm actually gonna make it just a little bit louder here. Uh, let me zoom in on our, our timeline here. I'm gonna make this a little bit louder just so it's a little bit easier for us to hear. And then we can always drop the volume back down. Before. So you can hear it there. Now I'm gonna play through it and play in this next part here. Listen to how it sounds like it's coming from the center and then we're gonna spread it out by using the width right here. We're gonna start with mono and then I'm gonna spread it out. See if you can hear the difference here. And this is just making some space for that dialogue to live like right down that center audio channel. So listen to this.
Can you hear it spreading it out? And now this is going to work better with some types of songs versus other types of songs, but it's a good way to really start to spread it out. And this stereo with effect does a pretty good job here in Resolve. There are third-party um, stereo spreaders that do an even better job and really push it out even more. Um, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. We're going to stick with the built-in stuff, but this is a good way to start working with your music track to just spread it out and make some space for that dialogue. So let's just, um, I'm going to lower the volume back down on this a little bit where we, we were around minus 25. I'm going to do minus 24. Now let's hear it with our dialogue. Track below all that to help create a little bit of vibe or ambience for the video, but you might run into a problem where the music competes with your dialogue a little bit. Now you can just drop the volume. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. I hope you can, that it sounds like the dialogue's here and it sounds like the music is kind of coming around the dialogue a little bit. That's what it sounds like to me uh, in my headphones here. Hopefully you guys are able to hear that too. So great tip, use stereo spread, push that stuff out, push the music out to the, to the sides and make room for that dialogue down the middle. Before we jump into our tips number two and number three, I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Artlist. If you are looking for royalty-free music for YouTube, for any online platform, for any broadcast platform, Artlist has you covered. They've got tons of great music, sound effects. I've been using them a long time. I think you guys would find them super useful for making your videos, and it's so easy to use. You just jump right on their website. You can scroll to the music or sound effects section, click on it, and then you can scroll through tons of great music. It tells you what songs are new. It gives you what that waveform looks like, which I love because I want to kind of see the waveform because I know how I want some music to kind of start or how I want it to sound. Artlist has a ton of great stuff, and if you use my link in the description below, you sign up for a year, you'll get an extra two Two months for free. Who doesn't like to get some freebies, right? And if it wasn't for partners like Artlist supporting the channel and the work that I do here, I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos for you guys. So I really appreciate Artlist. Jump on there, check it out. You can do a free trial if you're interested in checking it out and just giving it a try, testing the waters a little bit. But I think you'll find all of their assets really good, high quality, and uh, really just another asset that can bring your videos to that next level. Tip number two here is a way that we can kind of, again, create some space for our dialogue, and we're going to use the EQ to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the EQ on my music track. So I'm on track number two. I'm going to come over to my mixer here in Fairlight, open up my EQ. Now on my EQ, what we want to do is make a cut on the music track in our frequency range somewhere a little below 1K to a little above 2K because that's where our voice in general lives. The human voice is in that, say, 800 to 2,500K range. So if we cut some of those frequencies out of the music, it's again going to create more space for our dialogue to come through a little bit clearer. So let's go ahead and play through this, and I'm going to just grab my point 0.4. I'm going to leave it on the default settings, and I'm just going to drag it down, and we're going to see if we can hear a difference volume of your music. That's one way to handle it, but there's some better ways that we can create space within the music track so that our dialogue comes through nice and clear, but you still have the music underneath of it. Now I did widen out my bell curve here a little bit by using my middle mouse wheel. You can just middle mouse wheel over top of point number four, or you can come down here and adjust your cue factor. But could you hear the difference there where it pulled the guitars down just a little bit, right? So let me just go ahead and play a little before and after here and see if you could hear the difference to put a music track below all that to help create a little bit of vibe or ambience for the video but you might run into a problem where the music so can you hear how it just brings down the level of those guitars a little bit because they're competing with my voice right because your guitars a lot of it's in that that same range where the dialogue is so by making a cut on the eq in our music track we can create a little more space for the dialogue to live so all these different techniques is really about creating space in the music track right because we want our dialogue to come through clear and our audience to be able to understand it so by doing these little things it's just going to help make it a little bit better than just lowering the volume of your music track so that's tip number two there drop that eq kind of like you saw here on the screen somewhere in that 800 to 2500 broaden out that bell-shaped curve a little bit and it's really just going to help create some space for that dialogue now tip number three here is another one where we're going to use our eq and let's say you didn't want to drop down uh you know a, a point number four like we did here maybe that's too much for you we can also use something called a low pass filter right so we're going to cut out the high-end frequencies all of them and then anything that's below where we set our point 
on the EQ is going to pass through and we'll hear it. So taking another look up in here uh, at our EQ, again, I'm on the music track. My EQ is on the music track. I'm just going to reset my band four here, reset my gain. And all I'm going to do is turn on my band six. Again, these are the default settings. You can see I'm going to reset everything up here, turn on band six. And all I'm going to do is just bring this back until it sounds like the music isn't competing with my dialogue so much. So let's play through it. I'm going to drag point six back and we're gonna see what it sounds like. Competes with your dialogue a little bit. Now you can just drop the volume of your music. That's one way to handle it, but there's some better ways that we can create space with. Now you notice when we do this, it almost gives that sound of being in another room, right? Or not being uh, right next to us while it's playing. So this may not be the sound that you're looking for, but it is a tip and technique that you can use to kind of make it sound like it's coming from another room or another place, right? And again, create a little space for the dialogue. Now, the last bonus tip here, which uh, isn't really a tip number four, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and call it a tip number four, is if we combine numbers two and number three. So I would take this point six, and I'm just gonna put it up on the top a little bit. I'm gonna, again, bring my point four down, widen it out a little bit, right? Kind of where we had it. And now I'm gonna bring back point six just a little bit to kind of, again, take out some of those highs and create a little more space for the dialogue. So let's play through and see if we can make a difference here using both tip two and number three thin the music track so that our dialogue comes through nice and clear, but you still have the music underneath of it, creating that vibe and that feeling that you want. So what do you think? I think that that definitely helps. It definitely brings down, uh, you know, the the harsher sounds there with the guitars and, and things that are going to compete with our dialogue here. But you can use the EQ really basic, really easy like this. Add it onto your music track and it's just going to help make space for the dialogue to come through to the viewer. I want you to hear what I'm saying. I want the music to be there too because I want some cool ambiance and cool feel to my video, but I want that dialogue cre crystal clear coming right to you guys watching this video. So there you go, three tips, actually four if you count that little bonus one at the end there on how to just make some space in that music track for your dialogue. So tell me, are you using any of these tips already or are you just lowering the volume like I assume most people do? And that's why I love bringing you guys some awesome audio tips here because all these little, little things with audio as with anything else, it's just gonna help bring your video to that next level. A little better, a little better. Gonna be a little bit better than uh, maybe the guy next to you and then maybe people are gonna wanna watch your video, your film more than if your audio was bad. If your audio was bad, people probably aren't gonna wanna watch it. Let's be honest, let's be honest, we all been there, right? And that's why watching my videos, I hope you are getting some awesome audio. All right, guys, with that said, thank you so much, Artlist, for sponsoring this video, for partnering with me and allowing me to continue to do what I do here, make awesome videos. Appreciate you, Artlist. You guys check out the contest if you're interested. And if you want that two free months, link in the description down below. With that said, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video for some more DaVinci Resolve and audio tips. Peace.